In this video, I'd like to show a little bit how editing works. So here I have a very simple scene set up with just a ground plane, a little bit of uh, sky and ambient light. And it's the most fun to actually start uh, adding a player model. So we can immediately try out what's happening. And it also improves this, uh, the sense of scale. So here I have my uh, player prefab which I might uh, explain a little bit more in detail later on. But for now, what happens is once I have this and I press play the game, I will get a scene in which I can look around and walk around. So it has basic WASD controls, can jump and so on. Now, to prototype some geometry, the easiest way is to actually use the gray boxing tool. It's this button or shortcut B, then hold control and drag something and click again and now you have a box. So press play and we have a box over which we can run. So including physics and so on. The gray boxing tool has what it does is it creates a node with a gray boxing component and sets up some values. Um, I can easily go in there and just change the type of geometry that it creates. Um, I can change um, the size of things and thus easily adjust what my level actually looks like. And again, etc. So now I'd like to have something that I can uh, play with. So I'd like to have uh, boxes and what I'm doing is I have this very nice box mesh so I just drag that into the scene and now when I press play, it just hangs there and I can walk through it because it's just a graphical mesh. So now it needs some physics interaction. So on the box, I go to the components and I add that this is a dynamic actor. So now the physics engine will simulate it. But to actually be able to simulate it, it also needs to know what shape the object has. So I just add a box shape. And the default of a box shape is 1 by 1 by 1 meters. So if I click on this, I will get a representation. So for this particular box, this matches right away. But I could just go in there and modify it. Oops. But in this case, I just need it exactly at this size. And now when I play, it falls down and my character actually uh, can push it. I can also just press, instead of press play the game, where input is rooted uh, into the uh, full engine and the player takes control, uh, I can also just press simulate where the engine will run, but no input and no camera is taken away from the editor. Um, so this way I can see what's going on without interaction. So now I'd like to have some more of those boxes, so I use the duplicate tool. And I just say I want to have five of them, um, two meters apart, Go. Now I have five of them and I will move them somewhere over here and let's duplicate them again along another axis and now I have all of them here. So if I now simulate Yep, but maybe I need a little bit of rotation per object. 
So I will use the delta transform, say that I want to rotate along x in local space actually and every item individually and let's say 30 degree okay that's good additionally around the z-axis oh I forgot to type something okay so now it should be a little bit more interesting what's happening Okay, and if I walk in there, I have a lot of boxes.